Hey everybody out there on the internets, welcome to another edition of Philly Film Riffs, the show where I, your faithful riffer, uh, watches an episode from the previous generations, uh, sort of cold turkey, and then I basically show off my improv skills on how awesome I am. This time around we got an episode from Generation 3, or as I like to call it, the Depths of Shallowness series. Uh, this one is called Sweetie Belle's Party. I can only imagine what sort of first world pony problems they're dealing with in this episode. So, let's just get the show on the road. Make it, make it as painless as possible. Sweetie Belle's new cake party. Is that like the tea party? If I were baking a cake for a party, it would, it would blow carrots, up. Curls of carrots. Why would you mix carrots with good bears. quality junk food like lemon. cake? Lots of lemon. Nope. Crispy coconut. Hi, everybody. How about Wait, orange roofies? Oh, just our favorite ideas for the yummiest cake ever. Ooh, so you're Does it include my butt? Bells. It's my new cake party. Dumb. Worthless. Oh, wow, dear God. Why? Yummy. You should show them to Sweetie Belle. Oh, yeah. They're oh. yummy. If you have no taste buds. Yeah, she's been trying and trying to come up with the perfect cake for her party tonight. I don't think she's been out of her kitchen for days. Let's she might be dead. To see if we can help. Oh, what panic is going to ensue when they try to help? Gah! Interlopers! How's the bacon shaking? Not so good. I don't have enough bacon for the bacon cake. I can't find one that's extra special enough. You want extra special? So Why don't you put Scootaloo, Scootaloo over there in a helmet and have her run into a wall? How's that for extra Not special? As as I'm here. Ponies? Well, well they all look so those look like crap. But, but it's kind of important to follow directions when you bake. Let's see, dirt, rocks, skittles, nerds, some carrots, and some uh, ball cheese. Oh, that looks like okay. a good puke souffle. We wait. Oh, please blow the whole house up. Okay, that was kind of funny. All right, I'll taste it first. I'll be the first to die. <laughs> Can you taste the pink sprinkles? Can you taste, can you the taste my dingleberries? Can you taste the coconut? I'll bet you can taste the chocolate Can you taste chip? my ball sack shavings? Chips. Well, it's... It sucks! Different. Yeah. Sweetie Belle, we're sorry. We just wanted to help you make an extra special cake We just learned in the course of ten seconds what we've done wrong. So now we know that Bob Chocolate chips, coconut, carrots, pink sprinkles, and lemons all together is not. Moral of the story, leave your friends alone. Help. Especially if they know what they're doing. <gasps> Get your filthy hooves out of the cake! Why are you eating half the crap that you're baking? That's what mental patients do. You're baking a cake, not eating a cake in the process. Try it, it's new crystal meth. That looks so cool. Sweetie Belle, you did it! You recreated a Tower of Babel in cake form! So vapid, I'm gonna. <laughs> <laughs> Cake party? Um, I think I'm kind of full right now, Sweetie Belle. No, Pinkie Pie, I think you're full of it. Oh, oh, Sweetie Belle, don't be too disappointed. I think tomorrow we can have your ta-da! It's my new cake party! Because I think today we just had your let's all make and taste and decorate and taste 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 and
from eating all that sugar. Really. Really. I just watched an episode where you learn the lesson that too many chefs spoil the stew. They learn that you shouldn't get involved in somebody else's affairs. Give advice, but don't get involved. Finally, they have a sugar crash. That's also great. I've always wondered why uh, the ponies act more like pigs in this, this, this series than the rest. I mean, the other series, yeah, they, they deal with food and sweet stuff. But, I mean, this, this series, they eat a lot of garbage. A lot of garbage. And I'm I'm getting to the point where I think they're more pig than pony. Now I know why Colgate exists in Generation 4. Because you need somebody to keep after those ponies and they're probably half-rotted teeth. Whatever. Bland. Vapid. What can I say? It reeked. It sucked out loud. I can't even... I don't even have the energy to lose my mind about it because nothing really stood out. It was bland. So, this has been another edition of Philly Film Riffs, and I'm sorry this one wasn't funny. Have a beautiful day.